Oh dear, what have I gone and picked up here? Mangaka, or person who creates manga. Well, no, in this specific instance, it is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu 16.04. So, oh, it's only taken me a couple of years to look at, hasn't it? But I thought I'd take a look at some weird Linux distributions. So the version we have is, what are we going to call that? Cho Butterfly. And it's a live CD. I'm looking at it in VirtualBox. It does use the Cinnamon desktop, so maybe I might be missing some of the effects and it might not be running perfectly, but actually from what I've seen looking at it, it does look very similar to how Linux Mint functions. So immediately you'll notice we have a different font in use. So this is a custom font that has been chosen, but let's get this bit out of the way. Macropix, the start menu selection, a mascot. Of course, Miku as Leak Girl with the time, and it's set an American time because it's not 0534. Actually, that's not American, is it? That's uh, Japanese. <laughs> Why would I think it's American? Plus minus time zone. So yeah, that's 0534 in the morning in Japan. So clicking on Miku does give a little animation and we can pick her up and move her out of the way. So shall I leave her there in the top right hand side as a distraction or get rid of her? That's a good question. Uh, let's just show you opening an application because she does sit over the top of it. Yes. <laughs> That's not annoying or anything, is it? So yeah, I'll exit so she's no longer a distraction. So what can we expect about a manga theme to the Linux distribution? Well, I would to expect lots of different backgrounds. Manga themed, of course. And yes, this does not disappoint. Well, I have to say there's probably not too many. I have to say it's good they haven't gone too sexualized with them. Like some Japanese artwork, these are for these do seem a bit more of a mature selection. Perhaps Miku's skirt is a little bit short there, but that's uh, what we expect of her. Yeah, it's um actually a fairly sensible selection really. Oh, how cute indeed. So I'm going back to the one I chose. A default background is that colorful one. Let's just uh, show you that. Two different colour eyes. Very nice, very nice. And we do have uh, a few manga themed applications. So under the games, we have the Renpai visual novel type games. And it does have one pre installed called The Question, a simple visual novel game with Renpai. Now I'm trying to think of one I played a little while back. Um, actually, quite a nice game. Um, Annoyingly, I was talking about it with my girlfriend not so long ago, and I just cannot remember what it was now, so that's a bit. But honestly, the one I played through actually wasn't bad. It's different. It's a, a different type of game. And here we are, we have some artwork. I was kind of anticipating some of this artwork to appear earlier in the novel, but okay, we've had to click through a few slides. I have a feeling this is more of a demonstration than a full-blown novel but maybe I'm wrong on that one, since I've not actually played more than a couple of minutes of this. But you have some choices to make within a story, and the choices you make do vary the outcomes. So yes, uh, obviously I've chosen a... So obviously I've chosen a very nice option here, and... Uh, oh, it's getting exciting already. Very romantic, very romantic. There is another option, I'll just skip forward to it, because it was quite funny. <laughs> sure, but what is a visual novel? It's a story game with pictures, or it's a hentai game? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. That wasn't what I meant. I know, but I thought it would be funny to choose it. Yes, I'd like to quit. Also included is this Arden Trist, a fantasy side scholar game. Seems very appropriate for it. Okay, I have to admit, I'm not entirely sure what I've picked up here. Do you know what? Let's just uh, let's just take a look at what it is on Google. <laughs> okay, I got it wrong. It's an action RPG side scrolling game that is fun for all ages, and it is a native Linux game. Cool. 
Okay, but looking at the artwork styling there, it does seem appropriate to include on a manga-themed distribution. Looking at Firefox and Google, they do seem to be a very stock setup, but with a different type of font. That is the same system font. And of course we've got Sudoku as well. Well, what can I say about this distribution? Well, at its core, it seems to be nothing much more than the Cinnamon desktop with an anime selection of wallpapers and a different font layout. Okay, that's taken it to its core. It doesn't really offer a huge amount for me, really. There isn't anything much that draws me to this distribution. Well, it's fairly hefty in size at 3.5 gigs, so we could take a look at why that is. And that is, uh, well, there's quite a few applications pre installed, as we've seen the games already. But under graphics, yeah, there's a couple of extra things here M Comics, My Paint, Cinefig Studio, 2P Open 2D Magic, Animation Toolkit. Okay, so appropriate for someone who is a manga creator, a manga ca. Internet, you've got Firefox and Chrome for the web browsers, and Thunderbird for the email client. Office has a partial suite of LibreOffice. Programming has got Python, a few different versions of it, and Genie. Sound and video, there's quite a few things pre-installed here, so we've got Kadian Live Video Editor. OpenShop Video Editor as well. VLC for the media player. There's a GUI for FFmpeg with WinFF. Administration, so we've got the NVIDIA graphics drivers pre-installed. Bleach bits, well that does seem a bit unnecessary for a live CD. Actually I couldn't see a way of getting this distribution installed properly on the system. Got an OS uninstaller. But to be fair the responsiveness has been pretty good on here so <laughs> I didn't have to worry so much about getting it installed. I know it's a little bit late in the day to look at the system monitor but this wouldn't even be a fair test because it is running as a live CD. That aside, I have 1.4 gig of memory in use, but as I point out, this is not a fair test. Oh look, I've only allocated it one CPU core, and that was a mistake, so how is it running this quick off one CPU core? Okay, I'm not going to complain of that, but I meant to allocate it a few more, so whoops, that was a mistake on my part. In the system settings, we're taking a look at this font, so it is called Purisa, and document font TLWG Typist Regular. I don't know, they're not fonts I'm familiar with. I'm not going to make this a review about the Cinnamon desktop, I've done one of those in the past, and if you want to see more of Cinnamon, your best bet's to look at something like Linux Mint. Well that was a look at the Ubuntu 16.04 based Manga Ka. Let's see what they do this year with the long term support release that will be coming out in April for Ubuntu, that'll be Ubuntu 18.04. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.